line on the sidelines. Down to Barry Milligan. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Barry Milligan. Andrew, I tell you, the nation is finding out that this young man behind me, Dante Culpepper, may be the best quarterback in the state of Florida, one of the tops in the nation, and the nation is finding out more and more about him. This past Thursday, USA Today, inside back cover on the sports section. Get to know Dante Culpepper. In the Sports Illustrated that will be released coming up this Monday, inside college football, Dante Culpepper, a big-time passer. He's a big-time college ball player. Certainly is. Barry Milligan, thank you, as Idaho has the ball. We're tied at seven. Floating out on the right side. Incomplete! Reginald Doster breaking up the play. Barry Milligan's in the stands. We go to him. Barry? You know, Andrew, we've talked about offense, defense, special teams. What about that X factor, the fans? They've turned out tonight a big way. One administrator told me before the game at 5 o'clock, there were more people outside the Citrus Bowl than there had ever been inside the Citrus Bowl. They have turned out big time tonight. We've got some fans here who don't come to every game, but they say they'll come to more games. Andrew, this may turn into, could we call it Saturday night's fever? You could. You can, Barry. I just hope Barry comes back. He may end up staying there for the whole game. Dante Culpepper with some pressure. He gets out of it to the 29-yard line. We've talked about that big body. Now let's talk about the, here's the new word, the escapability of Dante Culpepper. This big guy, I mentioned a minute ago, he's a total package. He can run it. He can throw it. I'm sure he can probably kick it. And here he is again. This time, again, escaping pressure. You just used the word escapability. We may have to look in Webster's and see if we can actually use that one, but I like it. I tell you, Andrew, there. I like it a lot because this guy he maneuvers around in the pocket when he has to use his strength to get away from people. That was another example of him using that, that 240 pounds to get out of pressure. Halftime here at the Florida Citrus Bowl. UCF has a 21-10 lead on the Idaho Vandals. The UCF Marching Knights have taken the field. They are entertaining. Now we head down to the field. Barry Milligan's with UCF Athletic Director Steve Sloan. Thank you very much, Andrew. With me, Director of Athletics Steve Sloan. Coach, what a night for UCF. Not only do you have a, a lead here at the half, but I, I've never seen this horseshoe field like this for a college game. Well, I've never seen it filled for one of our games, and we're, we're delighted, I promise you. We appreciate all the people coming out. I think the uh, Sentinel helped us a great deal. The radio helped us. TV people helped us. We got a lot of exposure and a lot of coverage, and the team played well in the first three games, played well against the... Uh, N Nebraska, yeah. so so those combination of factors, but I didn't anticipate this many people. We, we really don't have enough tickets. Uh, Coach, it was an amazing pregame, too, with all of the tailgating that was going on out there. The fans, and, and you had prepared the fan fest. I mean, everybody was having a big time before the game ever began. Well, my problem with, with that is I stopped at almost every tailgate area, and I ate about 500 pounds of food, so I'm probably going to weigh about 300 pounds. <laughs> But no, we, we, we really appreciate the atmosphere, the people co coming out, their attitude, their enthusiasm during the game. Idaho's a real good team, obviously. So the game is still in doubt, obviously. But I, I'm glad we're ahead and hope we can win the game. Now you spent many years, of course, coaching, playing in the Southeastern Conference. I've got to ask you about Dante Culpepper. You ever seen anybody like him? Well, he, he's a real fine passer. And, and of course, he's got size, but... The, the dimension he has is ability to run. I mean, he's a, he's a premier runner. So uh, there's very few quarterbacks that a lot of them can pass and they, 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 they can do some things, but they can't run and pass like he can. So he's a very exceptional player. Coach Sloan, best of luck. I know it's already been a great season with the national notoriety. UCF is getting because of football. We wish you best of luck. Thanks a lot. I think the coaches and players deserve a lot of credit. All right, Coach Steve Sloan joining us here at the half. UCF looking for its first win of the season, and they're well on their way. The Knights leading 21-10 at the half. Sunshine Network welcomes you back to the Citrus Bowl. We're at the half. UCF leads the Vandals of Idaho 21 to 10. It's great to have a chance to visit just for a moment with UCF head coach Gene McDowell. Coach, uh, after kind of a shaky start to the game on both sides, you really took the momentum and took advantage of some opportunities. Well, the, the real lucky break we got for the interception to start with, you know, it looked like we were going to have a chance to get a good field position. Then we gave it right back to them with really good field position. But after that, both teams really settled down and started playing real hard. And uh, the thing that really surprised me is I knew Brennan was really good. He's even better than I thought he was. The guy's great. 
But I'm telling you, as you said, though, your guy, what a, what a player. I mean, Dante Culpepper is a guy that's just, he's taking control of the game. Yeah, well, we've got a great quarterback, too. And we were lucky in the ball game. You know, they, they you know, all the credit, you know, to, to Idaho, they really playing well. We don't get those two turnovers. Of course, those are great plays by my guys, but, but we'd be in a different situation right now. Coach, good luck in the second half. Thank you. Andrew, back to you. Back at the Citrus Bowl, UCF over Idaho, 31-10. The official attendance was just announced over 41,000, which breaks the old mark by over 10,000 fans. Just for the sake of comparison, Ole Miss had 28,000 for its home opener this year against UCF. Andrew Charles, I think this program is growing up in lots of ways. It is growing up and taking some huge steps this evening. Third and 19 for UCF. Before nearly 42,000 fans, Dante Culpepper, he stepped back, pressure, evades, throws, complete to Collins. Trying to get the first down, he's going to come up shy with White Collins with the reception. And as we tick under the 10-minute mark in this fourth quarter, Nick Alexikos with the tackle will set up a fourth and close to six, seven yards. Fred Wazuski comes on. An another example of Dante Culpepper's coolness in the pocket, his escapability, getting outside, getting outside of there, and finding an open target. And Dwight Collins made himself available and then tried to give, tried to make the first down. A good open field tackle by Alexikos. 39-yard field goal attempt by Wazuski to stay perfect this year. He's got it. 34-10. Dwight Collins. A 36-yard run on this drive. There's only one way to interpret that. Terrific. Fred Wazuski with a 39-yard field goal. And UCF is up by 24, 34 to 10. Golden Knights lead the Idaho Vandals here at the Citrus Bowl. Dwight Collins, a big part of that drive, this UCF team. With the 24-point lead, as we look down on that team and at Dwight Collins, running backs coach Alan Gooch talking with him. You know, it's great to see about that, Andrew, is, is, is the interpreter who's also working down on the sidelines with Collins and with Coach Alan Gooch. She has as much emotion in, in doing her signing as, as Alan does. You yep. know, a lot of times you see these things. She's as excited about doing what she's doing down there as the coaches are about doing their jobs. I think that's just wonderful. You can't get across, the, you know, the urgency or, or the coach's message if you're not signing with that same type of enthusiasm. I think it's a great thing to see.